Meet me. Shoo. Ta-da! Welcome back to another squirrely Epic 7 hero review. Today we're going to be talking about a hero I wanted for a long time, Shooting Star Achates. Um, she's definitely not a meta hero or anything, but she's probably one of the most fun heroes in the game because she enables a lot of trolly meme comps that are otherwise impossible. So as always, we'll talk about skills, builds, a PvP showcase, and then we'll summarize her. So let's get started. Alright, so let's talk about her skills. Her S1, very basic, just a attack that barely does any damage, but it does have a 75% chance to apply decreased hit chance, which is a very annoying debuff. I mean, all debuffs in this game are pretty annoying, but pretty basic. Now, her S2 is the thing that's really awesome. So it is a skill that can revive someone, and if you revive them, it grants them immortality for one turn so that they can't be popped right away. But the bigger thing is when the target is not dead, grants immortality and two random buffs for three turns. Over here, you can see the list of random buffs that can be granted. So you could get like a three turn um, immunity with increased attack or something like, uh, or increased speed. And it's pretty hilarious because it enables troll comps. Like you could put it on a K-Ron, you could put it on an ML Ken, you could put it on an SSB or something, and just have them sit there for three turns. And if the other team doesn't have a strip, they literally cannot kill them for three turns. And this enables a lot of trolley comps as well, like Infinite Immortality Yafine or SC um, Helga. A, a lot of fun comps. Her S3 is also pretty good. Um, it dispels all debuffs from both herself and a target. And between the caster and the target, whoever has the lowest health, it matches their HP with a little extra heal on top. So it's also unaffected by healing buffs or debuffs. So I'm not really sure. I think that means it ignores unhealable. I'm not 100% sure about that. Maybe one of you guys can verify. But the thing that's interesting about this is that it's basically a full heal if you have anyone on your team that has full HP, right? Because let's say SS Achates had 1 HP and someone else had full HP, it'll match it, so it's a full heal for her. Or vice versa, if she's at full HP and the other guy's almost about to die, basically it's a full heal. And the animation, I think, is kind of funny. The sound. Ta-da! So, pretty hilarious kit. Like, not like the most, um amazing one or offensive one or anything like that but the way her s2 works i think the main thing about her is she enables a lot of fun 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 troll comps which you'll see later so uh, let's move on to how to build her so how do you build ss akadi so mine's level 53 star awaken but i'm using manage equipment to just show kind of the stats you would want um, obviously the stats would be much better if she was level 60 and awaken but i just put her on ruel's gear and thing about SS Akadi is there's no special way to build her. Pretty much all Soul Weavers in the game, you build the same. Stack, defense, HP, speed, and if you want effect resist, and if you don't care about effect resist, funnel all those stats back into HP, defense, and speed. So, nothing really special about building her. Um, standard Soul Weaver tanky build, you'll probably want like at least 1500 defense, at least 18,000 HP, 180 speed, something along those lines, and as much effect resistance as you can spare. So pretty basic Soul Weaver build. Um, there's not going to be any kind of wonky build with her, unless you just want to maximize speed and get the S2 off right away. But with all the strippers out there, that's not going to work in RTA or anything. You might be able to swing that in Arena. For artifacts, again... Nothing too special, standard Soul Weaver artifacts. You could put her on Magahara's, Wondrous Potion Vial, Rod. It doesn't really matter, um, especially because if you're using her, you're probably going to be memeing a lot. And literally, you can run her completely naked if you're going to do that, as I'm going to show you in the PvP showcase. So since her builds are really self-explanatory, let's just move on straight to the showcase and get started. Alright, so let's see SS Akades in PvP. I put her on my Acids here, so she's quite fast. And I brought Acid just to bait their Acid. Okay, so now our job is done. 
That's all SS Acades needed to do. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and click this auto button now. And let's see what happens. So ML Ken now has three turns of immunity. Now, unfortunately, um, my SS Acades gave him increased speed, which is not ideal. You don't want the immortality buff to run out too fast, but I think it'll still be okay. My ML Ken shrugs that off because, as we know, he is immortal thanks to the SS Acades. And this is the kind of meme comp that um, SS Acades enables because against certain teams, the three turn immortality is absolutely monstrous. Like, just, just watch this. I'm not doing any. They literally just can't kill this ML Ken. Oh, Crow S3. Oh, uh oh, this is going to do a lot of damage, right? Lol, too bad, he's immortal. So now the Selene is dead. Just gonna keep countering away at this Krow. And that's it. Game over. Let's try another one. Alright, this time I don't think we even need a lot, so let's just start the match and we're gonna click this. And, uh... Again, I get increased speed, which is unfortunate, but whatever, no big deal. And let's just see what happens. Three turns of immortality on my ML Ken just cannot be killed. <clears throat> Celine is already dead, Deddo. LR Crow goes. Ooh, scary damage. More scary damage. Nice, we remove that skill nullifier. Get the attack buff up. This should kill the Arbiter, and then he'll revive. Unfort oh, I got three turns of immunity from SS Acades, so this is even perfect. Alright. Arbiter Vildred should go down permanently here. And again, this uh, troll comp is just straight up hilarious. Alright, now the immortality is out, but I think we did enough here. Alright, boom, 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 boom. ML Crow is dead, and there's no way this FCC is going to solo my ML Ken. So this match is a wrap as well. Let's try another one. Alright, so I failed against this guy twice already, but I'm insisting on having Mr. Charles do counters. So, we're gonna do this. Uh, my first two times, he only countered twice, so this counter set is doing absolutely nothing. But I have faith in Mr. Charles. Mr. Charles, all you need to do is counter. Can he do it with SS Acades? So, relying on a counter set isn't too good because obviously it's only 20%. Um, but I just wanted to see if Mr. Charles can do it, and he's already failed twice, so I think we know the answer, but I thought it'd be pretty funny if he managed to pull a 1v4 off with SS Acades. As you can see, he still hasn't countered anything, but here we go, we finally got one. Blam! And I put him on Portrait for maximum damage. There we go. Now the time has come. Boom! Come on, Mr. Charles. Brock that counter, baby. Still no counters. Come on. 20%. 20%. You can do it. There we go. Blam. And we get the proc. Boom. Okay, who's he gonna go on? He goes on Celine. That's fine. T Surin does this again. I need to counter. I only have one more turn of immortality. Counter. Counter, baby. Oh god, I'm getting scared. I need a counter. Otherwise, I won't do enough. There we go. One counter. S2. Yes. Yes. I think I got this. Mr. Charles. 
Boom! <laughs> and there's a 1v3 with Mr. Charles. All right, so after that showcase, um, let's summarize and say, is SS Acades good? And the answer is, sort of. But she's more fun than she is good. Now, full disclosure, that PvP showcase, um, I probably lost, like, nine matches to get those three clips. Because I was hitting random teams, and if you get stripped or something, or just don't counter, you lose. Like, that Charles clip took me three tries. So this is not something you want to do consistently on offense. Um, it just doesn't make much sense, because it's not going to be too reliable. But it also is hilarious because those guys are going to look at their defense log and he's going to see a fail to an SS Acades and a Charles. So this is more a trolley hero than anything else. Um, general purpose, like she can't really compete with like a Ruel or anything. But anyways, let's get into the rating. So arena offense, I'm going to give her a B. Uh, she's okay. Um, against certain teams, if you can... Play off counters, like her best pairing, I think, for reliability is ML Ken, because he has pretty much a 100% counter, uh, possibly even like an SSB or a K run. But the thing is, um, that's not the best kind of offense to build. And I mean, it's not viable against anything with a strip on the defense, because they'll just remove the immortality. But against certain teams where they have no counter to the three turn immortality, it is pretty reliable, and keep in mind that I was basically doing 2v4s. If you had other supporting heroes, it's even easier. Serena so Offense, um, she works against certain defenses, but against a lot of them, she's going to be pretty worthless. Arena Defense, I'm going to give her an F. Um, you probably have never seen her on defense, and it's for two reasons. Number one, her AI is easy to manipulate. Just get her to use these skills on something not important. And also, I don't know if they fixed her, but back in the day... Her AI was legendary for being completely brain damaged. Like, it made no sense the things that she would do. She would, like, heal full HP people. Like, I think she was bugged, actually. I don't know if they fixed that. Guild Wars offense, same thing with Arena offense. I'll give her a B. Um, in the 3v3 format, it's actually even better, because in Guild Wars, it's not unusual to see, like, triple DPS defenses, in which case, toss immortality on, like, an ML Ken, and just hit auto and sit back and relax. But again, not going to work on a lot of teams. Like, not going to be like a Ruel where you can bring her to literally anything and it'll work. You're going to have to be selective. Guild Wars defense, a hard F for the same reason as Arena defense. Her AI is too easy to abuse and on its own, uh, completely idiotic. RTA, I think, is her best content. Uh, I'm going to give her a B plus there. Again, um... The problem with her is you can't really troll or meme with her in RTA because if they know what SS Acades does, it's going to be pretty telegraphed. Like some combinations of SS Acades are things like um, SC Helga or High Effect Resist Yafine, and they both have mechanics where they can extend buffs by one turn. And basically, they just get permanent immortality. But people who know how that works are going to catch on to you right away and ban out the SS Acades. The other thing I've seen a lot um, is like Acades plus SS Acades plus Charles, and they just make the Charles unkillable and hope that with Battle Frenzy he solos your team. That team can be pretty scary, and they'll throw in something else scary to bait you into banning that. So in RTA she does work, but again, she's definitely not like an S tier unit. Top players I don't think use her very often, but she is a lot of fun. So that's my review of SS Acades. If I had to sum her up, I'd say she's a pretty solid hero, not a godly hero, but no Soul Weaver in the game allows for you to have more fun because that three turn immortality is very gimmicky, but also hilarious. So if you want to abuse your friends with stupid teams, then <laughs> there's nothing better than this. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you enjoyed the Trolley Showcase. Um... And yeah, we're going to wrap this video up. So thanks for watching. Until next time, peace out, boys.